Hey everyone, it's Lila, and I wanted to wish you all a good day and give you a little tip about bonding. I've watched so many bonding processes through the years here with our human Jana. She's super good at it, and since I'm the alpha rabbit, sometimes I do monitoring. You know, I watch the process. I've paid very close attention, but also I'm a bunny, so I know about what it takes to put two or more rabbits together. Again, I'm a bunny, so I'm just, as bunnies, we, we know these things. When you are bringing a rabbit into your home and you're not sure of the history of the rabbit, watch that bunny's behavior. If they box or claw or scratch or they, you know, back up against a wall and just stay there, they act like they are fearful more than a couple days or weeks, which is normal for bunnies when they come into a new environment. You, that Most of the time that means they need a little rehabilitation. Like the human, you're going to have to work with that rabbit before you start trying to put the rabbit with another bunny because in its past it's likely that that bunny was hurt by another bunny you know a lot of owners uh, of rabbits they it's just off it's it's awful to think about as as a as a bunny myself i find this deplorable but people believe that if they take domesticated domesticated rabbits and throw them throw them in a barn or a big cage with lots and lots of other bunnies that they're not bonded to and just toss them in that they they believe it's okay if they're not if they're if they're going to quote use the bunny for purposes other than pet ownership. Let me put it that way because I don't I don't even like to speak of some of the ways that rabbits are used in this world. It's it's horrible. It's like it's 2020. Let, let's let's get a grip, people. It doesn't matter what you're quote using a rabbit for. Cruelty is cruelty and neglect is neglect and just try to be a nice human. Try to understand everything is a living creature in the world of rabbits every single one of us and we none of us like to be just tossed in with other rabbits to where we have to fight for food and fight for space and fight for partners it shouldn't be that way like we're way too far into our civilization for this to still be going on but it does go on so a lot of bunnies are rescued out of that situation and then they come to a family and the family not knowing enough about the behavior of us they just toss them in with another rabbit or they start bonding sessions with another rabbit too soon and they get frustrated. And just like a human, if a human were subjected to neglect and abuse and not treated well in his or her past, that human needs some time to recover. They need a, a professional. They need someone who knows what they're doing or at least cares about them enough to slow down and teach that human that you can trust me. And we, we just, we need the same thing. Any, anybody that comes into your home that's had a rough past, not been treated well in the past, not been taken care of properly, give them, give them a minute. Give them a, give them a hot minute. Let them settle in. Let them learn they can trust you before you put them in with another bunny and expect them to just automatically, you know, fall in love with that other bunny and trust them. It just doesn't work like that when any living creature has a rough past. So... That, that's really all I wanted to say. That's the little tip I have about bonding. If you have a, a bunny that someone has not treated properly, someone has not taken care of properly, work with them a little bit. Get to know them. Teach that bunny that they can trust you. And then it'll be much easier for you to find a, a lifer, find a partner, you know, for that bunny that the bunny can trust. It's called rehabilitation, and rehabilitation is a thing. It's a very, very important thing for, for bunnies that, that come to you that have not been treated well, or like I said, if you don't know their history, give it a hot minute to get to know their, the bunny, and, and you can kind of tell what the history has been by the way they respond to you. I've seen it lots and lots here. It just, our, our human Jana has brought many bunny home, bunnies home that have been abused or neglected, and she doesn't just toss them in with another rabbit. She, she, she learns a little bit about them and um, then starts a bonding process. The human Jana, she's put lots of bonding videos on this channel, and... I hope you like our Buntown videos, our rabbits talking in our own words here in Buntown. We have lots and lots of advice to give and lots and lots of help. Um, and we like to help humans that are nice to bunnies and care about them and want to do the best thing for them to advance best care practices for pet rabbit ownership. Have a good day, everybody. Have a very, very nice week. Hope wherever you are, the weather's nice and everybody's treating you okay.